Hey guys, welcome back to another video where we're exploring how world building through geography can improve the design of our procedural map generator. Today again, we're going to be looking at how geographical remoteness can influence world building. Now, geographical remoteness, again, we're just talking about the distance between two places, either distance in miles or distance in the minds of the inhabitants of the two places. So let's dive in. As we talk today about remoteness and world building, we'll see examples of generated maps running in the background. When communities are isolated, geographically cut off by mountains, deserts, or oceans, they become petri dishes for unique cultural development. The separation from mainstream societies allows these communities to evolve independently, fostering traditions, languages, and worldviews that might diverge significantly from those of their distant neighbors. Take, for example, tribes of the Amazon rainforest. The dense jungle acts as a natural barrier, isolating groups from outside influence. This remoteness has allowed them to preserve rituals, social structures, and knowledge of the natural world that are unique. Practices derived from generations of intimate interaction with their environment, Remedies and techniques unknown to us. Isolations not only preserve their way of life, but has also created a rich culture that stands apart from global homogenization. Remoteness also could affect technological and intellectual development. Without the cross-pollination of ideas that comes from trade and interaction, isolated societies might focus intensely on solving local challenges, leading to innovations that aren't seen elsewhere. A desert-dwelling community might perfect techniques for water conservation and develop architecture that mitigates extreme temperatures. Their scientific understanding might be tailored to their immediate needs, potentially leading to breakthroughs in areas overlooked by more connected societies. Of course, remoteness also can affect language evolution. Isolated communities might develop dialects or entirely new languages over time. These linguistic differences can serve as barriers or bridges in your story, depending on how characters navigate them. The preservation of archaic forms of a language in remote areas also can provide clues to the world's history, allowing characters to uncover lost knowledge or secrets hidden in ancient text. In geographically isolated regions, the environment imposes specific demands that necessitate innovative adaptions. Remoteness often means limited access to external resources, technologies, or knowledge, compelling societies to rely heavily on local materials and ingenuity. This reliance fosters the development of unique cultural practices tailored to the environment's specific challenges. For example, extreme climates such as arid deserts or polar regions require specialized shelter, clothing, and subsistence methods. Societies in these areas develop technologies and social structures that enable them to survive and thrive despite environmental constraints. These adaptations become integral to the culture, influencing social organization, belief systems, and interpersonal relationships. For example, the people of the Arctic live in one of the most remote and inhospitable environments on Earth. This extreme cold, ice-covered landscape and seasonal fluctuations demand highly specialized adaptations. People have developed tools and technologies like the igloo, a shelter constructed from snow blocks that provides insulation against the cold. Their clothing, made from animal skins and furs, is designed to retain body heat and sub-zero temperatures. Hunting practices are central to some of these cultures, with techniques adapted to the migratory patterns of marine mammals like seals and whales. The kayak and the harpoon are technological innovations that reflect a deep understanding of the marine environment. And socially, some of these cultures emphasize cooperative hunting and resource sharing, which are vital for survival in their harsh environment. Contrast that with the cultures of certain peoples in Kenya and Tanzania that live in remote savanna regions characterized by arid conditions and seasonal droughts. Their pastoralist lifestyle revolves around cattle herding, which is both an economic activity and a cultural cornerstone. They've adapted to their environment by developing migratory patterns that follow water and pasture availability. Some have social structures that are organized around age sets and clans, which makes for easier coordinated movement and resource management. They have cultural practices like intricate beadworks and oral storytelling, which are expressions of identity tied closely to their environment and way of life. Their deep knowledge of the land, of weather patterns, and animal behavior exemplifies an environmental adaptation in a remote context. 
Then look to the Amazon rainforest with its dense vegetation and biodiversity. It presents unique challenges and opportunities. Some groups have developed slash and burn agriculture, which is suited to the nutrient poor soils. They cultivate crops like plantains while supplementing their diet with hunting and gathering. Isolation within the rainforest has led to the development of complex cosmologies, shamanistic practices that are intimately connected to the environment. The use of medicinal plants demonstrates extensive ecological knowledge passed down through generations. And socially, some organize themselves into small kin-based villages reflecting adaptations to the limitations and resources of their remote environment. Or look to the Sherpa living in the remote high altitudes of the Himalayas a people who have adapted to extreme elevations and rugged terrain. Culturally, they practice Tibetan Buddhism, which incorporates elements of animism and reverence for the natural world. Their economic practices involve agriculture suited to high altitudes, and more recently, participation in mountaineering tourism. Their expertise in navigating mountainous terrain has become a valuable skill, bridging their traditional adaptations with modern economic opportunities. All of these examples show and highlight how remoteness and environmental demands drive the development of unique cultural practices. In each example, the societies have crafted ways of life that aren't only survival mechanisms, but also form the basis of their cultural identities. Their environment shapes everything from technological innovations to social cult- structures and belief systems. Thanks for tuning in again. If you like the procedural map generator, and if you'd like to know more about how the development of the procedural map generator might proceed, uh, please remember to hit like and subscribe below. Join the Discord. Open discussion there. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer them there. Thanks so much.